The story of Prometheus is one of the most curious in Greek mythology. Over the centuries, it has been enriched by poets and philosophers, and today Prometheus personifies intelligence, even cunning, for his attempt to help humanity, though in the end he succumbed in his unequal struggle with Zeus. The mythology of Prometheus speaks of the creation of humanity, the birth of civilization, and suffering. My name is Francisca and welcome to the Myths and Curiosities channel. Enjoy, leave your like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Prometheus, whose name meant prediction, was a demigod, son of the Titan Iapetus and Climene or Asia, both Oceanids and daughters of Oceanus. His brothers were the foolish Epimetheus, known as the later thinker, Atlas and Minoetius. When conflict erupted for power between the Olympian gods and the Titans, he sided with the Olympians, even though he was a Titan himself, and with their wise advice he gave the victory to Zeus. Prometheus created the first man with the help of the goddess Athena. Made of fire and clay, he was molded in the image of the gods. The creation of the first man took place after the famous clash of the Titans, and in Orphic, the clay used was a mixture of soil diluted with the blood of the Titans. On Roman sarcophagi, Prometheus is depicted making statues, while the goddess Athena can be seen sending them souls, with butterfly wings, to live in them and give them life, a curious resemblance to the creation of Adam. It is said that Prometheus created a perfect creature on his first attempt. Hermes took him to Mount Olympus, where Zeus treated him to the drink of immortality, causing him to find himself in heaven and becoming the planet Phanon, the current planet Jupiter, although it is Saturn by other accounts. The Creation of Animals and Humanity The animals were created at the same time, although they were made by mixing earth and fire materials. All beings and humans were created within the earth. When all beings within the earth were invited to emerge into the light, Prometheus and Epimetheus were assigned to give each creature the characteristics it should have. Epimetheus persuaded his brother to allow him to do this work himself, which meant that Epimetheus was able to name each being and give it the characteristics he desired. When it came to the man's turn, all he had left was a few hairs and nails, which made him vulnerable and helpless. Overcome with grief, Prometheus assumed the protection of humans. As the creator of mankind, Prometheus always watched its course on earth with interest and often disobeyed Zeus' commands to provide some advantage to mankind. Did he try to help them because they were his creations and he saw them as his children? Promised as the protector of humanity. In one story, the gods and mortals met to discuss their mutual privileges and primarily, it seems, to determine which part of the carcass, offered for sacrifice, would go to each. Prometheus divided an ox into two parts. In the first part he placed the skin, meat and viscera covered with the animal's belly and in the other he placed the bones where he took the meat and covered them with the white fat. Prometheus then asked Zeus to choose the part that would correspond to the gods. The rest was destined for humanity. Zeus chose the fat and when he discovered that this part was just bones, he got angry with both Prometheus and humanity and decided not to resend fire to them ever again. In retaliation, Prometheus stole sparks of fire from the wheel of the sun or the furnace of Hephaestus on the island of Lemnos and gave them to mankind. The use of fire improved their lives. They made tools, cultivated the land, and civilized themselves. Prometheus helped them acquire medical knowledge, prepare medicines, and taught them architecture, mathematics, astronomy, metallurgy, and navigation. Pandora and the Punishment of Zeus Zeus punished the people by sending them Pandora, who brought a box with her. The authors do not entirely agree when it comes to describing the contents of the box. Hesiod wrote of the terrible suffering that sprang from Pandora's box, while others claimed that by opening it without precautions, Pandora set aside everything that would contribute to the happiness of mankind. But Zeus was still not happy, he wanted a more complete revenge and wanted the extermination of humanity. He therefore unleashed a flood to drown mortals. Was he so afraid that mortals would stop obeying the gods? Once again, Prometheus was to prevent the destruction of humanity. 
In a story strikingly similar to the biblical tale of Noah's Ark, Prometheus told his son Deucalion and his daughter-in-law Pira to build an ark in which they would close themselves in and roam on the waves for nine days and nine nights. As for Prometheus, Zeus ordered Hephaestus and his servants, state and violence, to nail Prometheus to a steep peak in the Caucasus, and then sent an eagle, born of Typhon and Echidna, to eat his liver. Zeus also swore in the waters of the Styx never to remove Prometheus' shackles. Was it exemplary punishment for knowledge and obedience for both gods and mortals? Prometheus hung for many years, from 30 to 30,000, on the rock until Hercules freed him from his bonds. Zeus was happy with his son's feet, so he decided to let Prometheus go. But because he had to keep his vow, and to ensure that Prometheus would forever bear the brunt of his punishment, he instructed Prometheus to make a steel ring from his chain and place inside it a piece of the rock to which he was tied. Since then, people have started making and wearing rings in honor of Prometheus, who suffered for mankind. This is yet another creation myth, like so many others, from many different places. The names change orally, but perhaps the characters are the same. Then, what do you think? Tell me here in the comments. See you in the next video.